Hi, it's Sarah Banta here, and today I want to talk about the 10 mistakes you are making when you're trying to achieve autophagy. And the other video I just made, I talked about the best ways to activate autophagy. And again, autophagy is a term that's become very popular along with the ketogenic diet and fasting. It's a biological process that removes the body's accumulated toxins, recycles the damaged cell components, and the term actually means self-eating, where the cells are using its own components to rebuild new cells. It's activated primarily when you're experiencing energy deprivation or exercise. It's stimulated by lower, lowered insulin and a ketogenic diet. The benefits include cleaning up the internal cellular machinery, regenerating aging cells, cleaning up your mitochondria, increasing the amount of cells that are turned over in a shorter period of time, and cellular breakdown and protein breakdown that then can be recycled. It improves circadian rhythms and sleep. So what are the mistakes that you could be making and limiting your ability to achieve autophagy? Number one, you're not fasting long enough. Food is actually in your stomach for four to five hours. So count five hours after you, you eat as far, as far as the start of your fasting period. Number two, you're drinking fatty coffee. Even though it doesn't stimulate insulin, it still puts your body into a fed state. So ketone bodies are stimulating autophagy. Excess calories, whether they come from MCT oil or other fats, will actually stop autophagy. Number three, and this is something that I was doing, you're taking BCAAs, branch chain, chain amino acids. Only take them during exercise if you take them, otherwise they will kick you out of ketosis. They're a protein or a part of a protein. And people usually take them to inhibit uh, muscle breakdown. Well, when you're in a fasted state or in ketosis, your body's maintaining muscle mass, so you really don't need the BCAAs anyways. Number four, you're consuming artificial sweeteners which raise an insulin response. This is a tricky one. Most sweeteners will raise your insulin. Even stevia and xylitol will, will cause a bit of spike in insulin, as, even though those are the best to choose from when you're, when you're talking about sweeteners. Number five, consuming supplements that have calories in them. Even if you're taking a lot of supplements, the calories will add up and they can actually kick you out of that state of autophagy. Number six, your circadian rhythms. Your human growth hormone and autophagy spike between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Those are the most important hours of sleep, so don't miss that window. Number seven, you're not doing prolonged fasting. You need to do it longer than 24 hours to really get into a deep state of autophagy. Aim for, a three days, aim for three days to achieve the highest level of autophagy. Number eight, doing too many long fasts too frequently. If you're losing muscle mass, then you'll know you're doing too much. And number nine, not getting enough nutrients when you do eat. It's really important to get wild organic proteins and high vegetable content that is organic and nutritionally dense. You don't want to eat junk food and binge when, you're, when you are in a fed state. You need to make sure you're getting in the proper nutrients and take advantage of that eating window. Number 10, not exercising. Exercising promotes autophagy. It's one of the easiest ways to get that level of autophagy up and your insulin levels down and getting your, your insulin resistance down as well. So those are the 10 mistakes that you could be making while trying to achieve autophagy. Look for the other video that talks about the best ways to act, activate autophagy. And if you have any questions, contact me, Sarah Banta, at sarah at acceleratedhealthproducts.com, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Thank you for joining us today. Leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this, and please be sure to check the description below for any additional information. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment or ask a question, as I'd love to answer as many of those as I possibly can. If there's a particular topic you'd like to hear more about, please share that in the comments below as well. Thanks again for joining us and hope to see you again soon.